All right, we're now going to welcome in Kevin Minnick of NJ Advanced Media, get his thoughts on high school football playoffs. Good morning, Kevin. Hey, good morning, Sully. What's happening, bud? Uh, you know, getting ready for uh, it's going to be a big Saturday. Yeah, man. You, you, know? you got a whole slate. Big Saturday. What, what game are you going to? Well, we're going to hit the uh, the, uh, the South Jersey two game down at Camden between nice. uh, the Panthers and uh, and West Deptford, and then if everything goes as planned, we'll probably try to slide down to uh, Williamstown and Byman and at least catch the uh, the second half. Little little double dip. What time's the uh, the Camden game? Camden game starts at three. Oh, three o'clock. Okay, so, so, yeah, uh, be cut it tight. Yeah, might be a little tight between what we have to do after a game, but uh, right. you know, we'll we'll try to make it because it it's our, it's that time of year. And it's the time of year we talked about before where us reporters, too, enjoy covering good games. So this, you, can't, you don't get any better than, than these situations right now. How, lo- how long does it typically take you after a game? Like, do you do a, a short story and then follow it up later? I try to get it all, uh, as, done as quickly as possible so I don't have to go back. Um, you know, we'll, we'll try to get something up online as soon as we can after a game. But uh, I would say generally if you give me, uh, you give me 40 minutes after a game, 45 minutes – everything will be done. So we have to, you know, input the box score and, and get the game story done, and that's all after, you know, hopefully talking to a couple of kids and, and both coaches. So, you know, it's, it's not a uh, instantaneous process, but, uh, you know, I, I would say within within 40 minutes or so, everything should be done. That's that's why you're going to be in the uh, the initial, the top three of the initial Elite 11 sports reporter, South Jersey. <laughs> if I'm in the if I'm in the top three of the elite eleven, then I'm sitting in very good company. So uh, <laughs> that be that that would be outstanding. I Nick, I, I don't see why he wouldn't be. I mean, the guy's got what twenty five years in the biz. Yeah, give him his respect, man. He's, he's, I, he's I, at I least top three. Is, is he's prompt, at man. least the, top the, three. The guy's legit, man. He knows at what he's le- doing. At least top three. Many outlets I too. I, I like the versatility. I've started. I started. Uh, what was your first my job? Career my first job was actually um, out of uh, at the. Uh, it used to be this called the Salem Sun. Today's Sunbeam in Salem was a special oh, Salem okay. County paper, and uh, I had that job uh, two days out of graduating from from the University of Maryland. So uh, really, I was luck- I was lucky in that I got a job right out of school. Um, you know, it was uh, you know it was, just, it was a small county paper, part of the uh, Gloucester County Times and, and Star Ledger and all that chain back way back when, and uh, it's been what. 30 years, this is, I think this is the 30, 31st year I've been doing this, so, wow. been around a while, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, first, first, first game I think I covered, first story I did was a Pennsville baseball game with Chris Widger, so, Chris Widger owns a ring, uh, so, yeah. uh, you know, it's been, it's been, a, it's been a long, it's been a long run, but, uh, I have, uh, you know, more than enough in the, in the gas tank to keep going. My first job, Kevin, was at the Stanley News and Press in Stanley County, North Carolina, I started at a tri-weekly. My first day was a Friday night football, the opening opening Friday night of football, and the uh, the editor comes up to me and he's like, "Hey, Sully, you want some pictures of that game you're going to?" I was like, "Yeah, that'd be nice." He goes, "Here, take this camera." One of our photographers just quit. <laughs> yeah, you know, we all, you know, a lot of us don't. If you look back on a lot of the careers of uh, of the guys around, you know, we we started out at, at small county papers. You know, we started out, you know, in in, in doing. You know, uh, going to a game, coming back to the office, writing a game, writing, doing agate, taking phone calls, putting the paper together. I mean, we did, we did it all. So, uh, you know, those that, that come out of college uh, nowadays and, and get a, a great job are, are you know, um, haven't had to go through the wars, so to speak, that us uh, old school guys have. So, but uh, I'm very, I'm very. Uh, it was a very good opportunity for me coming out of school to get it to, you know, get a job. So I jumped on it and. Uh, hasn't turned out to be too bad. My producer here, Nick Costco, he's grinding. He's, he goes up to New York City on the weekends to do uh, some work for Sirius XM Radio, doing some board ops. You do what you have to do, <laughs> and that's what it comes down to. Kids, mo- kids motivated, man. Hey, on air down here, you board, know, board up up there, it, it, bro- it, broadcast here and there, you do everything. You need to, you know, in this day and age, really, you're foolish if you turn something down that you think that you, that you pretty much can do. You know, you need you need to get your foot in the door somewhere, and uh, the more doors that are open for you, the the better opportunities you're ultimately going to get. So, Nick Nick, uh, that that alone gets Nick in the Elite Eleven. Oh, he's in there. I, I think he's we're we're th- we're thinking maybe eight nine range to start out with. You just told me ten. Yeah. <laughs> you just told me ten before the break. 
I'm, I'm trying to butter you up. So you, you're, you're buttering me up now. Eight yeah. and nine now. <laughs> you pay your dues a little. You pay your dues a little bit. You know, you bide your time, and everything works out. <laughs> I paid my dues. I wrote for I wrote for day for three years. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So Kevin, uh, s- some guys who are definitely getting the job done. Uh, some of these high school football teams in the playoffs. I was at Holy Spirit last night. They took down Hudson Catholic in uh, just a crazy muddy game. Um, I, I know you were kind of tweeting about the, the conditions of some of the games last night. Were you surprised that some of these teams played? Um, no, because I knew certain games were not going to be stopped um, for various reasons. Um, but it looked, at, you know, in retrospect, it kind of looked like the Holy Spirit game might have been the worst game in South Jersey because once Delphi and Woodrow Wilson started, it didn't rain. And if it did, it was only a very, very light drizzle. And then, and like like McGarry said, same thing goes for, for Haddonfield. You know, it was pouring and, you know, you needed canoes to get through the town. But when the game started, everything was, was pretty good. So, um, you know, the games that got canceled, I understand why they canceled them for weather-related reasons. And, and people, you know, you always hear the people, oh, it's football weather and yeah. uh, how can you cancel a game? But, you know, this is not the NFL and this is not college football. This is high school football where, A, you're talking about kids. You have to be concerned about the safety of the kids and the safety of the people who you are, you hope come to your game and and have some have some uh, respect and, and a little compassion for the maintenance crews and grounds crews out there because those fields, that, a lot of those fields, I'm sure Holy Spirit's field today is a disaster. Oh, I'm sure. It's an absolute <laughs> disaster. And other fields, you know, grass fields under wet, conditions like that they they become unplayable thank goodness it, it's not cold where they're fro- where they froze up but you know these grounds crew guys and maintenance crew guys if they have to prepare for a sectional final next week and if, and, and coming off of what happened last night they're not looking forward to monday morning and looking at what <laughs> that field looks like and figuring out a way to even things up so i understand that i understand it and you know i i get it that it's high school. i get it that it's football and it's football weather and all but i think you have to look a little bit more at the bigger picture especially when you're looking at high schools when a lot of schools are still playing on grass kevin i'm probably dating myself here a little bit but it, it kind of reminded me last night of all the right moves with tom cruise you are dating yourself <laughs> i don't think nick's ever seen that movie all There's the right all the right moves kids. with tom cruise nick no nah, he's never seen it it's an awesome high school no, football movie so. Yeah, I didn't think so. Amp, think Amp Pipe so. High School in PA? No, I, I, are, I haven't. I haven't seen oh, it. Oh, come on! If you're, a, hey, dude, I, you I, gotta I watch, see that movie. I watch plenty of classic movies. I, I, I watch good football movies like uh, Craig North, Craig T. Nelson as the coach. Hey, I, I, I've I've seen I've seen North Dallas Forty. The, the original <laughs> Longest Yard's better than the remake. Obviously, come on! I know I, I know what I'm talking about a little bit here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Kev, uh, uh, Holy Spirit assistant coach Tiger Minetti was giving me a little bit of a hard time. Come on, it's football. He shows up in, a, in shorts and a T-shirt. Yeah, there are those. <laughs> there are those uh, He's an outlier. Out there still. There's some people out there. But I'll tell you, you know, after that Delphi game last night, um, you know, Woodrow Wilson put a, put a good beating on Delphi, which I think pretty much surprised just about everybody. Um, it was warmer when the game was over than it was when the game started, and, and it wasn't rain, and it was very, it's actually very nice leaving the field. But, um, you know, in, in that game itself, Woodrow Wilson just, uh, you know, they give up a, a 63-yard touchdown on the third play of the game, and we're thinking, oh, boy, okay, Delphi's, Delphi's dominance over this, over this Wilson team continues. And then, you know, Wilson just rebounded, shifted gears, and boom, and, and they, they scored 42 unanswered. So, you know, I think... Um, Wilson came into that game last night with a heavy chip on its shoulder, uh, quite angry and, and, and frankly quite embarrassed to what Delsey had done to them in the regular season. Right. And the fact and the fact that, you know, in the nine previous times they had played, Delsey won eight of them, including last year's sectional final by a point. So uh, there were a lot of factors last night going into, um, into the game that would motivate Woodrow Wilson. Um, I don't know which ones exactly are the ones that played out, but uh, – you know, they sure did put on a, a very, very good display. They ran the football like they have not run the football all season. It was, you know, extremely surprising. Mahim McCargo went for 154, 145, something in that neighborhood, and two touchdowns. And uh, and Nick Hartman only threw the ball 11 times for 101 yards. Uh, you know, and only completed five passes, but threw two touchdown passes, and, and they won that game, uh, you know, going away early in the, in the second half. So. Last night, I think, uh, overall, for the games that got played, I think, uh, 
you know, people definitely got their money's worth. Yeah, Kevin, uh, real quick before we let you go, there, there's some potential for some really awesome championship games when you're looking at uh, South Jersey Group 2 and South Jersey 3. W- Wilson is in and Haddonfield's in. in. In 3, you're looking at Burlington Township, Timber Creek today for that semifinal. Man, if Burlington Township wins that game and you have them against Woodrow Wilson, that's going to be an incredible final. Yeah, and, I'm, and I, you know, that's uh, that would game would be obviously be played at Burlington Township. So, um, you know, Burlington Township's kind of been a, a team, but even right now, still, still undefeated and, and somewhat under the radar for a lot of people. Uh, we have, you know, we have them in the in the state top twenty this week, but a lot of people still don't know too much about Burlington Township. You know, given the fact that it's up in the northern half, you know, the northern portion of, of what we call South traditional South Jersey and. You know they've got some they got some playmakers on that team and and they've got a kid as a defensive back and Omar Rogers who was just absolutely fantastic. Uh, he's committed to Elon. Um, you know I think uh, Tom Adara, the coach up there, would, would love to see him get a little bit bigger of an offer. But uh, the kid is an absolute stud on defense. Uh, one of the hardest hitters in South Jersey. And uh, you know I, I kind of think Burlington Township gets by Timber Creek today. But uh, you know that said, Timber Creek's got the the pedigree of, of playing in championship style games uh, over the past you know five to ten years and and they know what it takes to win and at least at least be extremely competitive and take games like that down to the wire so we'll see what happens there and then you know like you said in group two Haddonfield's going to get either Camden or West Deppard and uh, you know uh, either team uh, you know you could you could pretty much flip a coin this afternoon you know Camden's playing at home but has had trouble you know taking that final step uh, you know, and getting to a sectional final, and West Effort is a team the year in and year out is one of one of those usual suspects that always finds a way to get there. So, flip a coin in that one. I, I really think it's going to be an entertaining game. Hopefully, it's not a extremely windy out. That'll limit a little bit of the passing game that Camden likes. But uh, obviously, West Effort runs that wing tee. They'll be keeping the ball on the ground, and you know, Camden will obviously have its biggest challenge of the season. Great stuff as always, Kevin. Uh, great Saturday of football coming up. And uh, we'll catch up with you next weekend. We, we'll be talking some championship football. Yes, next weekend we'll we'll have the matchups. So we'll uh, you know we'll break it down. Awesome. Have a great weekend, Kev. Appreciate it, bud. All uh, right, you too. And uh, Nick, you keep up the good work. Too. <laughs> I appreciate it, Kev. All right, take it easy. All right, thanks, Kevin.